What? I've been feeling a little bit down lately. Guardian Leviosa! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Android Bites. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And today, defense against the Dark Arts. What's the house of your... That's right. You have a Hufflepuff. Feet. Come on, let's go. Let's proceed. Just can't believe. Hello, Professor. Hey, the sound of... of uh, <laughs> I was gonna say the sound of the wood. <laughs> <laughs> but on the floors. What time is it in Hogwarts? <laughs> I don't know. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? <clears throat> yes. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Everyone seems so nice. I want to go to this school. Okay, let me just see. Well, I guess... Gonna track this quest. Let me just see. Uh, I heard that I was choosing, and then the werewolves go. Handy resource. Oh, oh, oh. Kitty. I'm most pleased to be included. <laughs> I'm gonna spend hours petting cats here. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> oh. <Hey, wow. laughs> the meow was really funny. Ah. Hmm. What is this? Bowl? What's this? Okay. It's this too. The Hydra? The this thing, the lizard, octopus, not the spider, not the other thing. Is this good? Reveal. Oh no, it has nothing to do with that. Okay, then what? Wait. <coughs> five. One, two, three, four, five. Is that it? I'm guessing it's two. Then it's probably the unicorn. Can't I put the unicorn here? No, the unicorn is on the other. So it's not two. Uh, the first exclamation mark, which is this one. This is the second. Exclamation? Uh, uh, inter interrogation. How do you say? Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> Interrogation mark. Question mark. <laughs> I, I thought it, has, it had to do like 3 plus 2 equals 5, which is the, the, um, the number in the middle. But 2... Is it 2 from this side or 2 from this side? I think it's the spider. I think it's the spider. And the unicorn, if it's from here, it's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine plus four, thirteen. So it can't be. Right. How's the position of the, the right the triangle? Triangles. Oh, maybe it's that. So do you think the unicorn is two? Two plus four, six. So I need another six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's that with that shit. I think it's this. No. Isn't there a unicorn? No, there? only on the other side. There's only this. It goes from two to two. Uh, See, the unicorn is on the other side. Then try to multiply it. Nothing times three gives five. Square root uh, of unicorn okay. <laughs> is the answer. Why is the zero there? Hmm? Why is the zero there? I don't know. The zero is showing you the way. Try the fifteenth. Multiplying. Fifteenth divided by three is five. But there's no fifteen here. Go around. Just like life. I'm coming back later. Now I got curious, man. Now I got curious! We all got curious. You left us hanging at it. All thanks to your low IQ. Maybe I have to go. To, there was a lock that was blue as well. Maybe I need uh, to open that lock first. No, no, no. <laughs> what? What was this? Ah! <laughs> eh! Yes! Ah, tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. Uh, depicts the wizard Barnabas, the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for for the ballet. <laughs> One can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. A uh, boink. <laughs> boink. This is awesome. Oh, hello. I should be going to the defense against the dark arts, but this is way cooler. <laughs> What? Ah. <laughs> oh, oh. Revenia. Hello. It was a ghost. Hello. Well. Did Sir Nicholas? No. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh, my dear Satyavati, you'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian, <laughs> Italian astronomer. This looks like a goddamn joke. <laughs> All muggles, mind you as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's, uh, Earth's orbit as a means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine that they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym for my days as a gentleman scholar. As I, fi I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity. The reason irks me. I'm so looking forward to our trip later this year to... What's that? Jantar? Jartar? Jantar? Maybe I'm just angry. Jantar means dinner in Portuguese. Jantar mantar. <laughs> what an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and do hope you are well. With love, Sushrita. Ooh, can I open that? No. Unlock you! Unlock you! Oh, hello. How nice to see you, my young friend. Hello. Hello there. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> I keep doing Revelio everywhere. Revelio. Revelio. 
should be going to class. You're a naughty girl. Oh, what is this? No. Lumos. Ah, Lumos. What is this? There's a telescope over there. There goes the goddamn clown. Is it up there? There's clowns everywhere. I don't like this. An owl. Hello. Oh, look. So pretty. I love owls. Yeah, so do I. I love the sound. The owl, owl flames! No, you didn't. Oh, this ginormous. Oh, hello. Hey, <laughs> Nice one. The telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind, perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. What about this? What about this? Lumos. Should I take this somewhere? Okay. Or should I take it downstairs to the... To that mirror? Aha! This was nice, this was nice. Oh, you miserable. Oh, gave me the fright of my life, you did. Revelio. Him for a change. Come on, let's go now attend class. Like no, I should. wait, wait. Meanwhile, what? we return to that stupid door. What? We turn to that stupid door. Because I had to, to go and check that shit out. <laughs> That was bugging me. And it's stupid! It's stupid? Yes. You were there. Oh. You knew the solution. Minus the stupid shit. <laughs> it's not we who are done. It's that shit. It's stupid. But where was it? Ah! Remember I was telling you about that stupid zero? It was telling us the stupid one. It was? It starts with zero, not one. Oh, this is a zero! Yeah, like the, the unicorn is... Zero, one, one. to three... Then this is the... Th okay, then the two... It's the dragon. Okay, okay. It was easy. Then the Minus six the is the seven. <laughs> Wait, but then if the six is the seven, this one is odds. Wait, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the lizard. Or no? Or is it? No, it's this one. It's this one, okay, the zero. Okay, nice. So it was easy, we just... Started to overthink, as per usual. Not overthink, it was a zero. That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> It was stupid. This is nice. 
Okay, now I need to attend the class. Yes! You're a bad influence on it's me. It's finally guys. now! You are a bad influence. What are you up to now? There are eyes there. Defense <laughs> against the dark. Oh, this is gonna be cool. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised <laughs> opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> that shit's so handy. <laughs> Let's begin with one. the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Remember. So, now, well done. <laughs> Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, <laughs> basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Protego to the triangle. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. <laughs> I know. This card is your first duel. I'm not all my students with a suggestion. I do enjoy my <laughs> I do. You're a natural enemy. You, know? ah. you give as good as you get. <laughs> this is not pissed. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hecate. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Nice. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Ravenia. Mm -hmm. Another 
No, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. You dueled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Nice work. Hello. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Well, I already used I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. <laughs> you owe me an honest duel when you aren't. She sounded you know, a little bit patronizing, but okay. You might be a okay. perfect fit for a certain exclusive, Not unsanctioned <laughs> dueling organization. Yes, Exclusive tricky. and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Oh. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, oh, well. or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Okay. Till next time. I'm gonna forget. Nice, nice, nice. Another quest complete. First one's round one. Talk to Lucan Brettleby about the secret dueling club. This gets interesting and interesting. This is the map. Okay, this are the. Can I claim? Ah, I can claim. Nice. Not the gloves for now. Can I claim something here? Sorry, new new stuff that I picked up. Yeah, let's see this ones. Eh? What was this one? Oh. Different professor. Oh, yeah, we saw that one. Gear. Headgear. Haha. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna keep it. You little artist. <laughs> I put the little goggles on. <laughs> no, no goggles. Too bad it's not uh, a black hat. Oh well. Ta da! <laughs> Superwoman! <laughs> okay, that's what I have. Hand gear. Well, uh, how can I use that hand gear that I have here on the collections? I don't know how to use this. It says here, cosmetic alterations apply to gear via the change appearance option in the gear menu. Gear menu. I don't see it. Wait, wait, change appearance. Ah, okay. Forget it, I found it. Okay. Ah. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, but I like this one it's better. Can I change appearance of this one? I can. Oh, okay, it's just these two. Oh, and I can use them, but put them uh, like this, and it will have the um, the perks of using it, but it, they're invisible, which is cool. Nice. Like you can see the perks where here defense two, this one, no defense, so defense two, 
but I don't like the the appearance. This one, offense to defense, nothing. It says nothing. So I can use this one. Okay, what about this? Anything? No. Can I change the appearance of this one? What's the difference? Oh, like this or like this? Okay, let's use it like this. Ah, okay, I can use this one. Ah, okay, cool, cool, cool. This is what I want. Nice. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell to the yes! Okay, got it, got it. Woohoo! <laughs> this is a little hard. Always thought Leviosa was for first years. Not anymore. This outfit was because it was a pre-order, was it? It's cool. Okay. Off on another adventure, are we? Indeed, Ignatia. Ignatia, whatever. A little bit of tea first. Of course! Uh, of course, a little bit of tea, of course. Okay, let me just see if I have anything good in the other uh, the Hogsmeade map. World map. Uh, where am I? What's here? What's this? Speak to Lenora Everlight and I get appearances. Wand handles. Okay, wait, let me go here. I should have known better than to oh, make What am I missing? You're missing the butterfly. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. I know what to do. Let me help you. <laughs> if I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos, do come and find me. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay, what's this spot? It's under a staircase or some shit? Aha! This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. I think the window should be talking first. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. Okay. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured I it out. I have I met Amit? A no. moth! I should have seen that. <laughs> like a moth to a frame. Huh? Do you think Elizabeth would like a fine drink? Ah, oh, so good! Cool. 
everything is amazing here. It's a mystery. It's, it's just it's beautiful. It's overwhelming. Oh dear. I shall get What's in trouble. With her? Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the colony. Yes. <laughs> well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd Wait. perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My <laughs> arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank yeah. you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. <laughs> she won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. <laughs> sure. Yeah, why did the meat tell any? Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed. Bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay, where are they then? Flying off the shelves. Are they there? Where this is pointing towards? I guess. So. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio. Got it. Only four One. more to go. Nobody sees me. I saw a book running around. Revenia. There's, there's another one. No. Son of a bitch. Hitting the books was never your forte, Yana. Another one. <laughs> Shut up. Ones. Rebellion. Ah, there it is. Here. Ah, finally. That's the last book. Now okay. to take them back to Cressida. Today, today was a good day, that is, until Gareth splash, splashed whatever ridiculous concussion he was creating all over my perfectly stood lace wing flies. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He's such a menace, thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Our broth smokies, smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now. Although I still prefer meat pie. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. <laughs> Here you are. 
Well, Perhaps lesson we would. learned. I certainly the, won't be practicing any charms options. in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. <laughs> well, I read it. Ha ha ha. Level four. Wow. Whee! There they go. Ah, another, another one. I need another leaf. <laughs> Not leaf. A folha. Ravenia. Oh? Shit, man. Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. Statue with an ingre ingratiating death green depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend <laughs> apparently I have the challenge completed Hello. What are you up to now? Half a bottle of flabbergasted leech, stirred clockwise. Revelia. Oh, hello. Are you okay? Are you okay? She's just, she's tired. Look at this shit. Look at this shit with all the cauldrons. Hell, man. Can I go here? You can go everywhere in this place. This is awesome. Memorandum. Date 31st of December 1875. From our office. Subject Borgin and Burks. Borgin and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours, wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more horrors to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are among the new additions. Further instruction to follow. Stealing. Revelio. Everything to reveal or to reveal? Maybe not. Potions class. This is the coolest. Hello? Sup? I'm guessing you're a professor. Let's ignore the professor for a while. This looks so cool, so cool. <laughs> Okay. Can we go down? Should we go down? What was that? More money. Level lock. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Ah, there's still one here to discover, another here to discover. Okay. Now. Oh, maybe we should go there. Oh, I haven't. Discovered any of these? Did I discover here? No. Here? Yes. Which one is closest? This one. Okay. Meet Professor Weasley in the Transfiguration classroom. What did I see? 
Ah, it's here. Nice. Serpentine beast window. Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder, it is actually a serpentine beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary Green Man. Rebellion. Painting of Ilias. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of the mentors, and the dark wizard Haxidian by conjuring a mouse patronus. A mouse patronus, bitch. Thank Jesus! Jovis! The gargoyle was speaking. The gargoyle. Revenia. In trouble, are we? Paid up to no good. Thought as ah. much. Wait, Never forget what that awful Ah, nice. Transfiguration courtyard. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is awesome! What? Aha! I saw it! Weaver Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a weaver on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather, despite rumors to the contrary. Possibly started by Sir Cadogan. This is most surely not meant to be the weaver weaver of we we why we whatever. Slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Long live the Weaverns! Long live the cat! Long live the cat! Now the Weaverns! Weee! Weaverns! Meow for me! Meow! Oh. <laughs> I love it. Meow! Rebellion! Professor Weasley. <laughs> what about the room, yes, yes, Professor? Yes. I was thinking the same thing, Dick. Hello. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Dick. Room. There he goes. Ah, there you are. Oh, oops. Sorry. I trust your first classes went well? Very they well. They did, Professor. I heard as much yeah. from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your I progress tell her, but... with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first oh, one. Nice. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I yes, mentioned yes, earlier, yes. we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect Ah, uh, Mr. Wand. Ollivander. I You've managed your glasses that. well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be yes, far superior. Yes. Let me just Can you this. tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. 
Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. Yeah, they are. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Yeah, I'm, I'm eager to, to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah, Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No cool. time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter <gasps> beer with three broomsticks. <gasps> Butter beer. We actually drink butter beer today. We need to make more. You want more? Yes. <laughs> so do I. I love it. I speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Uh, assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the mending charm, Reparo. That's good. Reparo! 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 In your glasses. No? The glasses? No, the glasses from Harry Potter. Which is required to complete the quest. <laughs> you can track assignments and their progress in the quests menu of your field guide. Okay. I'll try to be less weird. Revenia. Kitty! So you can work with her. Ah, ha, ha. I have a neck for this shit. Partial transfiguration. Wasn't this the cup that did uh, Ron? <laughs> Ron tried to do the transfiguration on one of one cup and the rat appeared. Was it Ron? Well, well I don't quite remember which one, but I, I think it was yeah, Ron. Yeah, yeah. This partially transfigured teacup, likely to soon to be reversed error of a second year, serves as cautionary tale for those students who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of transfiguration. Oh, at my level. Rebellion. Oh. Just Revelio, Revelio, Revelioing my way into everything. Okay. I can find you. Never could avoid a kitty. A kitty. <laughs> Is there a freaking uh, trophy for cats? For petting cats? Ah, I will do that one. Red 1000 pussies. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. Yeah, the mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. That seems cool. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. Okay. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. 
what are the tasks? Collect a flying page in the defense against the dark arts tower. Got the flying page near the broken statue. Okay, I'm going to do that. But in the next episode. <laughs> this is the right area. I wonder if I got it. I'm going to do that in the next episode. I'm enjoying this so much. I have to to disconnect so that girls can eat. eat it. Too. Fuck that. Let's Unless it's chocolate. Oh, eat and drink. Beer. drink better beer. Better beer. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.